Let's solve this compound inequality. Remember, for this we want x by itself in the middle, so I'll begin by subtracting 1 from all three parts. So the left part, or left side, subtract 1. The middle, I'll subtract 1. And the right, I'll subtract 1. The left side I have negative 3, less than, in the middle the 1 subtract out, and I have 3x less than 8 minus 1, which is 7. And I'll finish solving by dividing all three parts, or all three sides, by the coefficient of x, which is 3. The left side, I'll divide by 3. The middle, I'll divide by 3. And the right, I'll divide by 3. Because I'm dividing by a positive number, I do not change the direction of our inequality symbols. So I have negative 1 less than x less than 7 thirds. Let's go ahead and graph that. So I'll first give myself some room, and then I'll write that down again. It's a compound inequality, negative 1 less than x less than 7 thirds. Again, I'm just looking at a simplified number line. I'm just drawing a line segment. And then I'm simply placing the numbers that I need on this line segment, and of course arrowheads to represent a number line. So here is negative 1, here is 7 thirds. I'll place a parenthesis because of that strictly less than, a parenthesis here, and I'll shade between. There's the graph, now let's write it in interval notation. Just follow the shading from left to right. It'll be parenthesis, negative 1, comma, 7 thirds, parenthesis. All numbers between negative 1 and 7 thirds, not including those two numbers, all numbers between are solutions of our original inequality.